Before you watch this video, I want to let you know that it deals in the subject of hospitals, extended stays, medical, and if any of that bothers you, maybe you shouldn't watch. I want to note that we're not doctors, we're not nurses, and we don't always know the right things to say or do. Before you do any extraneous activity, you should always check with your doctor and make sure that you're okay for that activity. So it's about 5.30 on a Monday, and we were supposed to wind up in Disney's Animal Kingdom today for our last day on the ground, hitting the parks. But as we were getting ready to leave the room this morning at about 9.30, 10, Andrea started to experience some issues. Pain in the jaw, pain in the left arm, tightness in the chest. And about 15 minutes later, we found ourselves sitting down at the uh, emergency room in Celebration, Florida, where the doctors confirmed to us that Andrea suffered from a heart attack today. We know that Andrea and I have been trying to lose weight for a while, and it's funny because you hear people talk about how this sort of thing is a wake-up call. We figured Andrea was more at risk for diabetes than anything else, but we're still in Florida. Lily's up in the hotel room, and I'm heading back to the... Uh, to the hospital it's it's a scary wake-up call it's not really something that I think any of us expected to one have to deal with or two that we'd be at risk of yet it was a trip to Disney but things went off the rails not sure where we're going from here yet anyway thanks for being here your support's appreciated it is So something that I think needs to be addressed here is the hospital in Celebration, Florida, it's an Advent Health facility, is preeminent when it comes to their ability to treat heart attack and heat stroke. Apparently, people coming down and working in the heat who have already got weak tickers, uh, they tend to have heart attacks. And because of that, they've got a really good heart attack unit. And so we are, we are blessed beyond blessed to have had the doctors that we've had the opportunity to work with thus far. Additionally, um, what do you do if suddenly you're almost done with a vacation and you have to stay for another five days? You call the front desk? It's Disney. This place is always booked. But we called up and we said, hey, we had a thing happen. And I got a call back from them about 10 minutes later saying, sir, not a problem. We've extended your stay out till two days past your request. You can check out at your leisure. We've locked in your rate so you don't have to worry about the increased costs. You're good. Focus on getting better. So while I don't speak for the brand, I don't speak for the company, and I'm not sponsored by any of it, major shout out to the Walt Disney Corporation for willing to deal with us in really what is our hour of need. And we're power to them. So seriously, you want to talk about a company that seems to care about its people or its uh, clientele? Disney's where it's at. So thumbs up there. Hey, hey. guess what? what? I love you very much. Uh, well, it's the day after and we've got a decent idea of what's going on. Uh, it's less of a blockage situation and more of a SCAD situation you should google it but i'm heading to the hospital to go see my darling wife I'm gonna grab me some breakfast on the way and we're gonna see what's uh what's going on because i don't know what comes next you like to be having a stellar morning i just wanted to stand 
How are you feeling? Better. The tightness is gone. That's good. They got you on a whole cocktail of drugs. Yeah, like one for blood pressure, one for heart rate, one for blood thinning. I got the nitro here for chest pain. I got aspirin for, you know, heart attack. You look like death warmed over. I feel like death warmed over. You should probably help me get my hair out of this before it gets too tangled. Okay, I'll do that. We have a semblance of normalcy. What do you got? Cheese skipper. <laughs> Ooh, and a Gatorade. You don't need that. I'll take that. Enjoy your dinner. Ooh, that smells good. I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's still raining. We're still in the bubble. I'm actually heading down to the hospital to go see Andrea. Maybe we're going to get good news today. Maybe we're not. I don't know. <sighs> Here's hoping. Fingers are crossed. You would think in a hospital you get to be rest rested, but no. So at 10 o'clock, I'd done the math and I was like, oh, they're due any minute to do my check last night. They're going to come in, they're going to take my blood pressure, my temperature, and read my oxygen. Except they didn't. And at 11, they still didn't come. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess they're not coming. So I finally went to sleep. At 11.30, they woke me up to uh, <laughs> do my check. Um, and they let me sleep all the way until 3 o'clock in the morning, where they did another check. And then at 4 in the morning, they came in to uh, give me some medicine. And at 5 in the morning, they came in to do another check. And at 6 a.m., they came in to introduce me to the shift change. And at 7 a.m., the new shift change came in to uh, take their check and measurements. At 8 a.m., they dropped off breakfast. Seems to me that you're just looking forward to getting back to a hotel where you can take a nap. I'm tired. <laughs> See, usually when you're in the hospital doing this walk, you are very slow and trudgy, but right now you are booking it. It's because you really want to walk. I know. <laughs> Good job, I'm proud of you. You seem to be smiling. I get to go home. You do. You're looking more human. I have my shoes and my socks. Hooray! And my shorts. Hooray! Pants! So you're just waiting for them to rip that thing out of your arm and... Those... Yeah, I'm not going to show that it's blood. Yeah, that's great. But they're going to rip the thing out of your arm and send you home. You can go see another doctor and go back to being mostly human. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm excited for you. Look at that bruise. This is gnarly. Ugh. You look human again. I feel a little more human. Uh, I've been poked and prodded uh, more times than I care to count, but I am free of all the, all of the things. Ha cha cha cha. Ha cha cha cha. All right. I better not do that. They yell at me. Okay. All right, so Andrea's about to be discharged I'm in an elevator. And I stopped by the pharmacy and I got her two pounds of drugs. And yeah, we should have discharged paperwork and we're gonna get her out of here and back to as normal life as we can. <laughs> we got them. Let's get out of here. You ready to be done, Mama? Yeah, I think Bowie needs another dose of So we found ourselves out at, where are we? Uh, Coronado Springs. And we did the thing that we always have to do where we bring our backpacks and we'd set up just in one of the lobbies of the lounges and we'd work and we did. And it was great and it was amazing. And now that all that's done, I'm going upstairs to the Dahlia Lounge because why not? I'm gonna take Lily and Andrea with me. Ooh, that's us. Standing outside a uh, gas station at 5:40 a.m. here on Disney World property, and I look up and I saw something that's really only a little eerie. They turn off the Skyliner at night, which I mean, I guess that makes sense, but eerie. Here we are in the car again. Well, the next morning after Andrea got out of the hospital, we're getting ready to go and spent some time shopping. Andrea complains of a little bit of tightness in the chest. No, a lot of tightness in the chest. And so instead of jumping on I-4, we jump on 192 and we head right back to the hospital where they say you are in fact having a second heart attack. Seven minutes later, she's upstairs and they're putting stints into her heart. Well, they put her in the ICU, they're keeping her for 72 hours of observation and here I am 
sitting at the most family-centric hotel, the most magical place on earth, realizing that my hotel room is empty and it's just me. And here's the TV saying, welcome Anderson family, and I'm like, no, it's welcome Gary. Family's not here. That's depressing. Anyway, um, Andrea's still in the hospital, so I'm getting ready to go see her at this point. And I mean, she's in good spirits and she's, she's awake and she's able to sit in her chair. She's a walkie talkie as the ICU puts it, but we're still here and we're still trucking along. So not really how we saw this vacation going. So one of the hardest parts of, no, not even hardest, but one of the more asinine parts of dealing with all of this is the communication with people. And one phone call and one text turns into 50 phone calls and 50 texts. And so what I found myself doing is actually drafting updates and then we're blasting them out via text over the internet. <laughs> so yeah, I've just got every couple of hours, let's send out another batch of mass texts and that's how we're keeping people updated. You got macaroni and cheese and chicken strips. Yes, I do. And the, is it at least okay, kind of, sort of? Mm-hmm. Good, good. Still stuck in the ICU. Day 795. 795, it's not that bad. <laughs> um, today's Saturday. Yes, it is. I had my first heart attack on Monday. Monday. And the second one on Thursday. Thursday. Hopefully get to go home tomorrow. Sunday, so yeah, full week in the hospital. That sucks. Uh, got to go for a walk today. Yeah. Now they've downgraded you from critical to not, haven't they? Yes. Um, they have downgraded me from critical to just keeping an eye on me. Um, they're not, they're still feeding me cocktails of pills for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> drugs and drugs and drugs. Lots of drugs. Uh, <laughs> none of them the good kind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Any drug that keeps you up and running is the good kind. I can go and walk. I get tired though, um, but I don't notice it until I sit down, and then I feel all like, like oh, this doesn't feel right. A little nervous, a little scared to leave the hospital because you know two heart attacks. Yeah. Um, but looking forward to not sitting in this bed anymore. Yeah, hospital beds suck. I sat in it for exactly two minutes. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I can do without. Um. They're keeping me fed, like, too much food. How's the food been? Eh. 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 Alright, well, okay. you can enjoy your hospital food. I'm going to get Arby's. Okay. There's a wall there, and I just walked into it. We have checked in. We have. To the fifth floor. To the fifth floor. They gave you a starry. They did. So much nicer up here, and way more privacy. Yep, and you have the ability to go to the bathroom alone. I do. I have the ability to do anything. <laughs> I'm not strapped to nothing. That's a win. Hello. Well, it's Sunday, day seven. Andrea was moved up to the general population rooms last night, which that's exciting because that takes her out of the ICU. The way the doctors make it sound, uh, she should be released today, hopefully. We spent a whole week in that hospital with the exception of about 10 hours. But, fingers are crossed, we, we want out of there. She wants out of there. Oh man. I can't get over the uh, Florida sky, it's gorgeous. So I made it to the hospital. There's the building. And I have Andrea's escape bag right here. Change of clothes, shoes, I got her watch. Got her everything she needs. So we're still sitting in Andrea's room. You're Jen Pop now, so mm -hmm. welcome to the ghetto. Uh, no, it's not the ghetto, it's actually. This is a lovely hospital. It was a gorgeous hospital. This is the hospital that Disney built, Advent Health and Celebration. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Seven out of 10 would do again. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> So we were supposed to be discharged today, we thought. I even had your getaway bag. And then what happened? I'm getting all better. You're getting better. <laughs> Cardiologist came in this morning though and gave us some news. I have to stay another day. Ugh. They're dialing in my medicine. They don't like that I can't walk very far without getting winded. Those are fair points. I don't want to come back a third time. Oh no, I, I totally get it. And I am disappointed because I do want to go home, but. Yeah, so we're doing an extra day here. 
All right, it's the end of day seven. I'm back at the hotel. Oh, I was hoping Andrea would be here tonight, but she's not. She's still in the uh, hospital room. I'm gonna pick her up in the morning. I'm gonna get rid of the beard while I'm at it, I think. Not a fan. Go back and watch the video. You'll see my beard grow in real time. It's crazy. Anyway, moving forward. All right, just got out of the pharmacy before we walk out of the building. Got another two pounds of pills. And yeah, round two. Hopefully these ones work better than the last ones. I'm clean shaven now. That's important because like 30, 40 seconds ago, I said, hey, I'm gonna show up clean shaven. And now I am. The song makes you think I hate it. Yes, dancing like a duck. It is Monday. June 26th. Day eight. Day eight. I am finally out of the hospital. Right? There's a lot of wood to knock on. Knock, there. knock, knock, knock. Get the <laughs> reference. Um, it, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. This was rough. It was hard. I have a long road of recovery ahead of me. And I'm going to have to finally buckle down and really make those life changes. So. If you were wondering if we're still on Weight Watchers, if we're still on planet, if we're still on goal, I think it's going to get real serious now. So I went for a walk. That's good. I had to sit twice. That's okay. It's, you know, because I had two heart attacks this last week. Which, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. I mean, when you get damage to your heart and you're not going to be as strong as you used to be. I need uh, to share that uh, I did have a SCAD, S-C-A-D, heart attack. It stands for Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection. And that means that a part of my artery tore at the innermost layer, blood got in between layers and blocked the flow to my heart, causing the first heart attack to be 20% blockage and the second one to be 99% blockage. The first time I was given medicine and we were told we would treat it medically and that it was rare to have a recurrence. But in less than 24 hours after my release, I did have a recurrence of a 99% block. So I now have two stints in my heart. Garen and I intend to continue our weight loss journey, but it will be food focused as opposed to exercise focused for the next while, at least for me. Uh, but I still welcome you to join us. We will still be doing Weight Watchers and the rest of this video should showcase what's been going on this week and why we've been fairly quiet and also still in Florida. <laughs> Longest vacation ever. I need a vacation. Right? Let's go home and take like a week off. 